Hello, welcome back to Into the Reach. This is episode 11, if my memory is correct. Last episode, we uh, went and defeated the Vec in Pumping Station and Nano Silos. And now we're about to go to the Scrap Heap. However, before we do that, we've just got a reactor core completely unexpectedly from this uh, time pod here. So I'm going to have a quick look at all the mechs we have and see where we can put that reactor core to use. Rockstar, we're getting close to needing more health and that's that's coming up my priority list pretty soon. Grapple Pi, Shield Ally, probably not sufficiently worthwhile, though I'll have a quick look at the mission to see if it might be relevant there. Zappy kill. Maybe building chain. Again, I'll take a look at the mission and see if building chain is going to be of use. If it's not, I'll uh, give this core to Rockstar for the extra health because that's only two health and uh, even with the shield, it's starting to become a liability, especially when we have enemies like the spiders that can uh, weather in place and she can't even attack the back. So we'll. We'll have to have a look at that. Let's have a quick look at what the Scrap Heap uh, mission is all about first. We need the Blitzkrieg to defend this acid launcher while it dissolves the Vec hives infesting the mountains. So it's high threat, so we start with an Alpha Crab, it looks like. Must have to defend the disposal unit, which is there. Destroy all the mountains, there's eight mountains. Um, and protect the defense lab, which I'm guessing is this unit here. Now, I'm wondering if, just like if like the terraformer on the desert island, I'm wondering if this uh, disposal unit looks very similar, so I'm wondering if it, we can also control it and use it as a form of attack. I don't know, we will find out. Uh, however, there are clusters of buildings. Building chain could potentially be useful. Things like crabs obviously don't tend to stand next to buildings, so less relevant. No, I think it's time to give Rockstar another health, regardless. I'll just do that. If I want Building Chain, you know, maybe I can swap it for a move or something. Um, or for Flying. Right now, I think I'll be fine. So, let's go defend this disposal unit. Oh dear, look at that. So, first of all, we have a Blood Scion, which is giving every other enemy uh, regeneration health, health regeneration at the start of their turn. No problem if we kill enemies, but a nuisance if we're merely wounding them. Then we have an Alpha Hornet, an Alpha Crab, another Alpha Crab, an Alpha Leaper, and an Alpha Spider. And you know how much I love spiders uh, with their ability to web lots of enemies at once. Or lots of stuff at once. Uh, there's the defense lab, and there's the acid launcher. Uh, now, it has hit points. It has two hit points. And it has a weapon, so I guess we're going to control it as well. It's a disintegrated dissolve all target tiles with acid. So, that could be quite useful. So, at, when enemies are covered in acid, we do double damage, which is obviously of great help when dealing with uh, things with five, six hit, hit points. Well, these are only four, so that's right. And obviously we do need, we will need to take a couple of turns to launch it onto these mountains, to dissolve the mountains, so it's not going to be as quite as useful as the terraformer. My main concern right now with placing our units is, where can I place them so they won't immediately get webbed up by that damn spider? Probably isn't any such place, is there? I'm also more concerned if we use it, uh, that we don't bunch up too much, because if we use the lightning whip, it would go and it goes through our units or through enemies and hits the acid launcher, it would destroy the acid launcher as well. So that's something I have to be careful of. I 
We've got five movement and uh, movement for Zappy Kill. So I'm actually gonna start well out of the way with Zappy Kill so uh Prospero has as much freedom to move as possible. Gonna put Grapple Pie here and Rockstar up the back. Let's try that and see what we get. I'm not very happy about having five alpha enemies all ready to do damage at one in one turn. That's a lot of attacks to neutralize. Oh, and would you look at that? Lots of webbing. So that annoying spider has immobilized Rockstar. That's maybe okay. Rockstar can still attack from where she is. We have the Leaper threatening to do five damage to these two buildings. Oh, and Apple Crab threatening to do three damage to the defense lab. We have the other Apple Crab threatening to do three damage to each of these four buildings. And we have the Alpha Hornet threatening to destroy the uh, acid launcher here. So. We would have an opportunity to destroy two enemies at once, either there or here, assuming I get out of the way first. With acid, this one's tempting. This one's tempting. Like as I said, we will need to use this uh, on the mountains. But this is very tempting to do. It'll kill the leaper, which is no big deal. Uh, and but more importantly, it'll kill the spider web and free up Rockstar for an attack. Then we have three units able to move and three attacks to disrupt this one. Oh, sorry, four attacks to disrupt one. No, he'll be dead. Three. One, two, three. The alternative, um, we could use it to destroy the spider, which I'm, you know, I'm very tempted just to do that, to destroy the spider regardless. And it's only one of the crowds, so we'd utilize another attack. And in fact, a bigger attack of five health, which is bigger than the leaper and thus harder to disrupt. So that could also be a good move. That leaves Rockstar, however, still unable to move. Oh, sorry, Rockstar and Grapple Pie. With Isabel and Bethany right now. Can't move. I should have noticed that. That means I can't really do this attack at all because uh, it would kill Grapple Pie instantly. Which would not be a good thing. Grapple Pie. Can't grapple herself to anything else, can only grapple enemies or friendlies towards her, which isn't much good. Prospero coming in and doing a lightning attack is going to destroy the disposal unit, which is no good. Um, now, Grapple could just shoot uh, the little the spider here, the spiderling rather, which would free her from its grip. Downside is, well, firstly it would destroy the shield on Rockstar, it would also use up a turn fairly pointlessly. She could shoot the Leaper, which would actually free her from the web for not much effect, and kill the Leaper. That's probably the best move for Isabel just now. Zappy kill can't get anywhere near this crab. And this crab is definitely annoying me. Um, but if Isabel, if Isabel does this move, then Prospero could come up to this spot because Isabel will no longer be there. 
and use Vice Fist on Spidling Egg to destroy it. And that would free up Rockstar to move. Now, the problem there is we still have the Hornet and the Alpha Crab uh, to to deal with. The Hornet's threatening the disposal unit, uh, which is which we need to defend for basically both the first two opponent's objectives, both of the rep. And the crab is threatening the defense lab, which we need if we want to get that extra reactor core. And both of those are... Well, the uh, disposal unit is, doesn't appear to be powered. Oh, sorry, it doesn't appear to have grid power on it. Normally, the buildings show the grid power icon, and this doesn't, so... Losing two rep, losing one power is kind of the risk in those attacks. Of course, uh, at the end of the mission, at the end of the island, one rep can be turned into, into one power. But uh, we are full on power. But you know, we don't want to lose anything. So, what do I do? Yeah, that could be ridiculous. Uh, that's that's the silly move. How do I deal with the Hornet? What options do I have? Can't launch a rock on it because I'm too close. And can't even launch a rock to push it anywhere because throwing a rock in there won't do any pushes because it's just a big pit of water and throwing a rock onto the, uh, the disposal unit here is also not really an option. So even if we freed Rockstar, she can't do anything about the Hornet. She could move up here if she's freed and throw a rock here to push that crab out of the way and save the defense lab for this turn. Okay, so kill these two with acid. Kill the Leaper with uh, kill it with fire, basically. Kill the like this. This is the spiraling egg. The only reason I need to destroy it is to free up the uh, to to get rid of the webs. There is absolutely no threat from it this turn. It's just stopping us moving at all. Now, because happy kill can fly. Uh, it can safely move up here, and then could has the ability to lightning this. But of course, that again is going to destroy the disposal unit, and as well as hurting friendlies. So it's not really an option, I don't think. It also wouldn't kill the horn, the alpha hornet. It would only wound it, uh, and it would get regain one health next turn. Now that's not much of a problem. But if it doesn't kill it, then its attack is still there. Is still going to go ahead. So that's the problem. Is it won't be dead. Which attack won't be gone. Now, if if Isabel was free and Rockstar was free to move and Spiderling Egg wasn't there, then Isabel could, in theory, grapple. From here, could grapple the Hornet to this spot so it attacks two empty spaces. That conflicts with where I want to put a rock star there as well be to launch a rock here to move this out of the way. If I can't push this safely, can't push this crab to here because then it will hit this building. Well, it's a better, better to hit the one building than the one building which has a reactor core in it, but it would not, it would not be ideal at all. So, on that, on that front, I do have the option. I could take this move to kill the Leaper, destroy the disposal unit, you know, and the Spiderling Egg. It would free up both our, both my other units for a move. And give me the chance to destroy that Hornet. Actually, Grapple Pike could probably even just use her uh, cannon to shoot it. That's not a good option. 
So... If I was to do that, I would drop acid... Pun not intended. Uh, onto these enemies as the very first action. I would then use the electric whip on this cluster to kill the leaper and the spiderling. And that leaves Rockstar and Grapple Pipe free to move. Alright, so that's four enemies dead. Rockstar could move here and drop a rock there to get the crab out of the way. Grapple Pipe can move here and fire the cannon at the Alpha Hornet, which will actually push her back into Rockstar, doing a little bit of damage and hitting Rockstar's shield. But that'd be okay, the Hornet would be dead. So that'd be all enemies dead, except this crab, and this crab neutralized. That's good, except it also means the disposal unit here would be dead and we would not get our reputation. But we'd also not lose grid power. We would also not lose the reactor core. And right now there's no enemies spawning either. So we might be just left with a single alpha crab to finish off to win. I can't use my lightning uh, electric whip to kill mountains, to destroy mountains, it's just checking. So that's another plan of attack. The thing is, I can't really see a way to deal with this hornet. The only way to deal with the hornet without using the electric whip on it is the rock. Dropping a rock on it is no good, even if we could, because it wouldn't kill it. So the cannon, the unstable cannon, does three damage, and if fired from somewhere along here, it would also push it into the mountain for extra damage, for another two. As far as I can see, that's the only way I can kill the Hornet without using the electric whip, is to get Grapple Pie there. And right now, I don't see how I can get Grapple Pie free. Rockstar can't do it. Grapple Pie obviously can't do it because then she won't have a move. So the only way I can see to get it free is uh, using the electric whip. With all the downsides that come with that. So I'm going, I'm going to accept the loss of these two rep. Uh, no, it's not what I would want. But it is going to help us deal with all these alphas that are really, really giving, making us have a bad day just now. So, you know, the, the, the corporation may not like us much, but we will, we will get most of the job done. And it's better than having all these other buildings destroyed by these VEC. So, acid. Done. And... Well, I'm sorry about this, Isabel. I'm sorry about this disposal unit. But this is what's going to happen. So. Oh, Bethany's shield's already gone. I, I forgot that that would happen, but that's right. Neutralize the crab. Yeah, that leaves you one damage to, Beth to Bethany. That's fine, because she's got extra health now. And let's kill that Hornet. We've injured ourselves a little bit, quite a lot in this case, but, uh, you know, four out of seven is still... We've still got three left. Three hit points there, five hit points there, two enemies left, and none spawning just now. And, well, we did start to damage the mountain, but there's no way we're going to dispose of all of them, so... It'll take us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 attacks if we actually want to destroy all the, all the mountains and we can't do that in three more turns. We could do a total of nine attacks in three turns. What does the Vec do? Kaboom. Alright. Now there is going to be some spawning now. Uh, four more spawning next turn. So, I guess that gives us a good reason to come and deal with the problems that we have just now. So we've got five hit points on this crab. 
we don't need to kill this blood scion if we don't have to. If we can kill everything else, it's going to be fine. How can we do five hit points worth of damage? We're going to do two attacks. We can't shoot it with grapple pie because the only place you can shoot it from is here and when I'm not driving into acid. We can drop a rock on it for three. And then we can fly. I assume that being a flying unit means Epikill won't get hurt by acid. But if not, I could always move up there instead. And then use the lightning on it. And that'll leave us four enemies next turn. I think that's pretty good. So let's do that. It's mostly dead. And now it's going to be all dead. Grapple Fire can't even get in the position to attack the uh, Scion this turn, so we're going to move up to a closer position. And uh, let's see who comes out of those holes. Well, the alternative is uh, Grapple Fire can actually grapple here and stop one of the spawns. You know what? I'm thinking that's a good idea. Three enemies to deal with is better than just. is better than four. So let's do that. Two more alpha leap, uh, an alpha leaper, an ordinary leaper, and an alpha hornet. All right, I need to be careful with Isabel because uh, blocking that enemy causes to take one more damage, so she's down to two hit points. Now the Alpha Leaper has leapt into Acid, so killing it is going to be easy, but that is going to push Isabel back and hurt her, so that's no good at all. She could do the same here, but uh, that's no good. She could grapple that Leaper onto the spawn spot to block the spawn and cause it to take damage. And that would also free up Zephyr Kill for a move, so that's, that's probably what I'm going to do with this spell. Then we have an Alpha Leaper for 3 hit points and an Alpha Hornet on 4. So being on 4 hit points means we can't kill it in a single hit this turn. We need to, we've need we only got 3 damage attacks. The Rock, the Lightning, and in fact the Cannon all do 3 damage. So we would need to neutralize it instead. So dropping a Rock would push it out of the way so it attacks these empty spaces. And that would leave Zappy Kill come up here and use the lightning. No, that's no good at all. That's no good at all. If Zappy Kill uses lightning on here, it's also going to kill Isabel, so we can't do that. What could we do instead? Zappy Kill could come up here and use the Vice Fist from standing here to flip the Hornet over here. We'd only do one damage to it, which it would heal next turn, so no big deal. The Hornet attacks before this Alpha Leaper and does two damage doubled because that's the, because of the acid here. So the Alpha Leaper would take four hit four damage and die. Okay, that's good. Then we have a rock free to throw somewhere. Now the problem we face still is Isabel would still be sitting on this spawn point and that's not great because it means she's going to take another damage and I, that means she wouldn't be able to use a cannon right now she could use her cannon once so if instead maybe instead well she can't move unless we kill this leaper outright And can't kill this leaper outright unless we throw... We can throw a rock on it. Throw a rock on the leaper to kill it. Then she's free to move. Which I'd rather do. Which I'd like to do. If she's free to move... She can... Still grapple this leaper somewhere. 
although not no, no longer grapple onto the spawn point because you can't sit here without getting acid. Uh, these this, things aren't quite working out. We're always missing one thing. Uh, if she doesn't, if she doesn't at least grapple this leaper out of the way, she at least needs to get it out of the way so that Zappy Kill is freed up to deal with the hornet. Hmm. Maybe we leave the leaper around for next turn. Where we have three enemies plus this. And just... Do, well, no, the Hornet. We're not killing the Hornet. We're just moving it out of the way. So, so far, we're only looking at killing the Leaper. The Alpha Leaper. And possibly also this Leaper. This is not working out very well. Now I talked earlier about possibly using having building chain for the electric whip. Now the electric whip does not go through Zappy Kill uh, itself, so building chain uh, wouldn't actually help in this situation to injure the hornet and hurt and kill the uh, leaper here. And the enemies aren't bunched up enough, anyways, for anything else. So we can use the hornet to kill the alpha leaper. We can use Grapple Pie to and the spawn to kill this Leaper at the cost of one damage to Grapple Pie. Then I guess I just drop a rock onto the Hornet to to do three damage to it, one of which will heal. That'll make it easy to kill next turn. We'll still be stopping this, and so we'll have one new enemy next turn. I think that's the best I'm going to do on this turn. And last turn is the next turn, so one hit point is probably sufficient. So there's a grapple, and here is a vice fist. So the leaper is going to attack the empty spot. The alpha hornet is going to attack before the alpha leaper and kill it. It's going to do four damage, as this preview shows clearly, and that will free up. That means Isabel will no longer be under attack. So right now she's in danger of four damage, and will be freed for, to move. So those two enemies will be dead. So let's just drop a rock over here. Oh wait, that'll that'll kill the Alpha Hornet because I did one damage to it with the uh, flip. I forgot that it actually damages them. That's cool. Let's let's kill it. Great. No. Damn it. Uh, that's that's the opposite of great. I have just doomed Isabel to death because now this Alpha Leaper is not going to die. Because we killed the hornet that was going to kill it. Oh dear. Uh, right. Once again, I'm so glad we have this reset turn button that we can use once for battle. Because I do not want to lose Isabel at this point. That would be catastrophic. So let's undo all that. I love that animation as the uh, ground waves and fades. Alright, so that was almost good. Almost the right things that we needed to do. Right, that was the right move. This was the right move. The mistake... As I said, I'd forgotten that the Vice Fist did damage, so I'd already thought, well, I'm going to drop a rock on it and it'll be down to one hit point, and then it'll heal for, to be back on two. But then realising, you know, killing it actually causes us problems. We can't safely kill it at this point if we want this leaper to die so now I have a rock and I need to drop it somewhere uh, it really makes no difference let's destroy one of all the mountains we're supposed to dispose of it will, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter uh, but before I do I'm gonna move a little closer so I've got a bit more movement options next turn more importantly, destroying that mountain now clears the path to get up here, if I want to later drop a rock on this scion. For the good that the, for all the good that that will do. Oh, 
Alpha Leap of Dead. Leap of Dead. <laughs> the Scion's got itself uh, covered in acid. Alright, so now we have only one enemy left. No, sorry, one enemy left that we must kill. We can kill the Scion or not. So here I'm going to find out if grappling a flying enemy. If a flying enemy landing on acid is going to get covered in acid. I'm just going to grapple it here to find out. It does. So I guess that means if Zappy Kill stops on a pool, on a pit, you know, a little pool of acid like this, it would also get acid, you know, covered in acid. Whereas Zappy Kill can hover above acid safely. A pit of acid. So that's good to know. Flying will protect us from, from these hazards. Now, in addition to that, now that means it takes double damage from the rock, so we can just kill it outright. So it wasn't just an experiment uh, in what does the pool of acid do to flying enemies, or flying units, it was also the way that we kill it. And we can kill this one here, because it's there. Alright, so... It's the end of the turn, there's no new enemies going to spawn now, we almost kill Isabel, but thankfully not. Um, Seven hit points down to one. That's that's uh, pretty insane. We we blew up the disposal unit. Let alone, you know, instead of we disposed of it instead of defending it. We did not kill all the mountains. We only destroyed two of them, and but we did protect the defense lab. So I imagine the CEO is not going to be very happy. Uh, that might be the number CEO Singh likes to see, but CEO Singh is uh, disappointed. The launcher and its crew are lost, and the mountains and the Vec hives remain. We'll need to abandon the sector. Well, I don't think you'll need to abandon it. We cleared out the Vec. No, oh, most of them. You still have plenty of acid around there. You can just make a bucket brigade with acid-proof buckets. We did protect all the civilians. That's really important. So our power grid is still at 100%. And we did get our reactor core from the defense lab. I'm, you know, we only have three reps so far. Extra two would have been nice, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Alright. And that has opened up two more missions for us. So we've got a choice of... We'll only get one more mission on this island before the corporate HQ comes under attack. So we have a choice of four. Now, Disposal Site C, just looking purely at the rewards, uh, looks, you know, the best. Because it will give us two wraps for a total of five. Any of the others are only going to give us one. These will also bump up our grid defense, or if we lose any buildings, bump up the power grid again. So the reclamation zone, I'll have a quick look at it because I haven't seen it before. Um, but I really don't see that that's a mission I want to do because the rewards just aren't as good as the others. So, oh, it's got teleporters. That's interesting. I guess the blue spots teleport to the yellow blue spot and the red spots teleport between them as well. Or maybe it's red to blue, red to blue, I don't know. That's interesting. I wonder how that works. Well, I'm not going to find out. Disposal Site C has an acid tank. Not a tank full of acid, but a tank that shoots acid. Um, and the two stars for killing four enemies that uh, have been inflicted with acid. Obviously once we've got acid on them they're much easier to kill. So that's basically acid one each turn then kill it or unless they have unless they conveniently walk into pools of acid that they might leave behind. I don't know if it will. All right that could be a good mission to do. We don't even have to defend the tank in terms of the mission, in terms of the stated mission objective. But I think to def to achieve the objective, we would have to. Uh, these buildings, this group of buildings all around here, would be very good for building chain because it's very likely to get enemies on all sides of it, and then attacking one would attack the others. And there's a lot of space around it, which means likelihood is we can keep our friendly units away from those edges, so that the lightning, the electric whip chaining through, would not cause damage to our friendlies. So that's interesting. So Content Zone D uh, has blocked back spawning three times and protect emergency batteries. Very straightforward uh, objectives to achieve. We can block spawning with a rock. 
and with one of our other units. So we can like set a tank on one, we can drop a rock on another, we can set a zappy kill on another, and that's, you know, we can achieve this objective in a single turn. If we didn't have to kill enemies, but uh, we could certainly achieve it quite easily. Protecting emergency batteries is one building, you know, protect it. Reasonably straightforward to do. The wasteland. Lots of lots of acid pools around. A few pits of acid useful for pulling them or pushing them into kill at least seven enemies and protect the cold line. Not a very exciting looking mission, and there's not really much room to move either. That could be a liability, especially with uh, spiders or leapers around that would web us. So I'm I'm thinking the two most interesting ones are the teleporter and the acid tank, and I'm thinking the acid tank is the one to do. Before we do that, we do have one reactor core. Nowhere to spend it here, so Rockstars uh, isn't going to use it. And there we could get this confused shot uh, weapon and power that up. It takes a power a power core to do to use. Uh, I'm just going to quickly test it out just to just to show what it does. Although I'm not sure it's going to achieve, uh, not going to be visible here because if an enemy is attacking, it'll flip its attack. But in the test, the enemies never attack. Uh, it doesn't do any damage anyway. So it'd be a nice. It's it's a nice weapon to get for free, but um, not really one I think I want to use. I might just sell it. If. Uh, if Grapplefire's primary weapon actually did damage, then maybe that would be a good secondary weapon to have, but right now she needs a damage dealing secondary weapon. Uh, shield Ally. I'm thinking possibly about powering up Shield Ally, which would uh, allow us to, on the first turn, if we then grapple this tank some anywhere, would give it a shield, and that would help defend it. I imagine it's only got like one or two hit points, so defending it every turn is going to be the real trick in this mission, not not so much shooting enemies with acid to kill. Uh, let's, oops. Right, that's 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 the situation. So I, I, I forgot the hit that uh, it doesn't automatically undo the changes when you test them. Um, but what would I trade? I could do that. I could get shield, shield ally instead of the plus one damage on the stable cannon. So it would only do two, but it also do no self damage at all, which might not be bad. No self damage is not a problem. Uh, when we've got alphas with like five damage, if we get lightning them, then the unstable cannon or rock or drop a rock on them, the unstable cannon can still finish them off. So that's not bad. It just means the three. Three hit point ones like uh, ordinary fireflies or alpha hornets, um, things like that, or alpha leapers. No, alpha hornets are four. So alpha leapers, ordinary fireflies, ordinary scorpions. Uh, not that we're getting any scorpions on this island, but uh, they have three hit points, and she was able to kill them in a single attack. On the other hand, the two damage plus the pushback may allow to push them into things and do the bonus do up to four damage anyway. So that's probably a reasonable trade-off in order to power shield ally. And then I have one reactor core that I can use to power up the building chain. The other alternative is I could turn off flying in order to power up building chain. Uh, taking another look at the map. There are no pits of acid or, or water or anything like that to, to where flying becomes essential. Flying would still be useful to get from one side of these buildings to the other, but most likely these epic kills are going to be wandering around the central area. And... Well, flying, flying lets it bypass enemies as well, so if it's really crowded, flying is really useful. And I don't think I need to make that choice. I've got a spare core. I can keep have building chain and flying. So I'm going to do... That's what I'm going to do. So, let's go to disposal site C and dispose of some VEC. So, 
So, there is, to begin with, an Alpha Spider, which I do not like, uh, an Alpha Firefly, and an Alpha Crab, and an Ordinary Leaper. So the Leaper and the Spider are both going to do web attacks. Now on this side we do have the Acid Tank, which as predicted has just one hit point, so we are going to want to deploy a shield onto that Acid Tank, I believe. So, first things first... So if Grapplefly sits up behind it, that's then ideal for uh, giving it a shield. Also means Grapplefly won't do anything else on the first turn, so we'll have to make sure we get a good move in with uh, Rockstar and Zapikul. But uh, we'll see how this plays out. Oh no. I should have seen that coming when I put them next to each other. Alright. That's not good. The plus side, the acid tank can move, and its weapon is an acid cannon that shoots a projectile, a projectile that inflicts acid. So it can inflict acid on any one enemy. This. Things are off to a really bad start here. We have one. Well, we, we don't need to worry about the crab's attack at least, so we have to disrupt the Alpha Firefly's attack and the Leaper's attack. Two attacks to disrupt. Ideally, we uh, will throw acid onto one of these enemies as well, so they take double damage. Perhaps the Alpha Firefly. Perhaps the spider. Um, Rockstar cannot defeat the spiderling. If I move the acid tank out of the way, then Isabel can. If the acid tank's in the way, obviously she will destroy it and damage herself. But if it moves first, it won't. Which would leave Grapple 5 free to drop a rock on, for example, this leaper. Okay, so that's one option. Move the tank out of the way, do something with it. Shoot the spiderling. Grab the rock star, moves up here, drops the rock onto the leaper. That leaves Zappy Kill to deal with this Alpha Firefly. So if I shoot it with acid and then use lightning on it, it will take six damage and be dead. And the Arc Crab will take three damage. So that would leave us next turn with the crab, half dead, the spider, and whatever spawns next. So that's, that's a plan A. Other options. Rockstar could just throw a rock here. And right now, as you can see, that would cause two damage to each of these enemies because uh, we're pushing them into each other. And thanks to the passive ability she's got there, it that causes them to take two instead of merely one damage from such a situation. So, if we did that, then, oh, well, let's say, for example, the acid tank would moves here and throws acid at the spider. Oh, wait, I, hmm, no, I think, I, w I wish there was a reference, for this, but I believe acid doesn't affect damage taken from pushing only from weapons. So, so aciding the spider would not... I believe cause it to take double damage from this. You know, total of four. So ignore that. So we move the tank. The tank is relevant then to this move. So that doesn't destroy any enemies, but it does mean these two can be destroyed by a single lightning attack. The downside of that is we have then there's nothing, uh, no way of dealing with the leaper. Grapple Pie will still be stuck here, and she can't shoot it. Now, if, I kept, if I'd taken my artillery instead of the unstable cannon and then drop an artillery there, problem solved. But uh, I didn't think the uh, artillery would be as necessary. I could grapple myself out of the web, but then I can't shoot. That's the downside. So that plan B would let us kill these two, injure that one, 
ask that one for all the good it does. We'd still be able to shoot the spiderling, but we wouldn't be able to dis destroy the lever, so I don't think that's a valid plan B. Uh, so, I do not... Oh dear. My, the problem with my plan A is it requires throwing acid onto the firefly in order to kill it. And I can't do that. And the reason I can't do that is there's only places I could uh, shoot the firefly from with the acid tank are these two spots right next to it. Which means... When Zappy Kill comes to use the electric whip attack, it will chain through the enemies into the acid tank, destroying the acid tank. And then we would not get this uh, bonus objective. It also means the Alpha Fireflies attack is going to go ahead. So the plan A to kill it will not actually kill it. So that's another problem. So the result of plan A is we kill the Leaper, we injure these two, this one's attack goes ahead, yeah we could stand in the way and take lots of damage, and the spider's still alive. That's not a very good looking plan A. What about, what about... Now, as I said, I'm pretty sure that pushing enemies doesn't cause them to take double damage. Hmm. What do I do? I do like the looks of this, but it's really not doing enough to kill them. And so it's probably not going to be as good a move as simply just killing one of these three. So, let's look at other options. So, Zappy Kill could use the Lightning Whip on this cluster here. Um, now that would destroy the acid tank, which but that could move first. If we, did, if we move the acid tank, then it does not kill the Leaper. But, assuming we move the tank, that will kill the Spiderling, leaving Rockstar and Isabel free to move. So if Rockstar and Isabel are free to move, and let's say the acid tank has come here and fired on the Firefly, then Rockstar can move here, drop a rock on it, do double damage, kill it, and also push this crab over here by one, giving it two, you know, hurting it by two. The crab's attack is not a problem, but hurting it is, is always going to be a nice thing to have happen. Alternative. Um... Oh, even better. Let's let's say we move the acid tank. Oh, sorry. Acid tank here is a bad idea because it's next to the building and we've got building chain on. Acid tank here, fire at the firefly. Oh no, that's bad. That means dropping a rock on the firefly pushes the acid tank here and killing it as well. Uh, it doesn't look like we can usefully use the acid tank this turn. Uh, maybe just you know maybe just use the fire acid at a spot of ground, I guess. And, and hope the enemies walk into it next turn. Oh, I can actually lightning from here, using building chain. So if need be, Zapikil could stand here to take the Firefly's attack. He would be hard, he would be mostly dead, but would still be still be able to stop its attack. Um, if we move the tank out of the way. Grapple Pie could grapple the spider to that spot. Then, then we do the lightning. The tank would be safe. The lightning, um, Rockstar is safe. The shield, it would just hit her shield. Isabel would lose two hit points, but she's got seven, so she could afford two. The spiderling would be dead. The leaper would be dead. The spider would be almost dead. Unfortunately, not quite.
And that would leave Rockstar free to move. Actually, that's really good. Because if the tank moves here first, fires us on the Firefly as we said before, we've grappled the spider out of the way, so dropping a rock at the Firefly push pushes the tank to this now empty spot without destroying it. And the Firefly will, be, will take double damage and be dead, and the crab will no longer bother us. So actually that looks to me like a solution. We'll have a mostly dead spider, we'll have a dead alpha firefly, we'll have a, a half dead crab, we'll have a dead leaper, a dead spiderling, and an intact acid tank, and we'll have killed one of four with acid. We really need to do this each turn, because it's uh, only four turns. Yes, I think that works. I do believe that works. Because we're not using lightning on this group, so I don't need to worry about the tank being adjacent to this group. Let's give it a go. So now we grapple a spider into this spot for a chain. Uh, we sit somewhere here. Probably there, I think. Oops. And kill the spiderling and the leaper and hurt that alpha spider. Freeing out other our other units to move, importantly. Isabel's had a turn, so she can't move, but that means Rockstar can come and neutralize the Alpha Firefly into the crab and push the uh, acid tank out of the way. Harmlessly. Two enemies left, two more spawning. Let's see what comes up out of the ground. Alpha Firefly and an Ordinary Crab. Okay. Oh dear. They are always in use of stuff like that, aren't they? So. Alpha Firefly's attack is no concern of ours because we can move out of the way. Alpha Crab is a problem. Crab is a problem. They're both on three hit points, so actually they can both die to lightning. Unfortunately, our lightning is a little far away just now. Maybe we can fix that. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking we can fix that easily. So what I'm thinking just now is... We move the tank somewhere else. Well, it's actually quite safe there. But uh, we, could, we could perhaps throw acid onto the spider. We move Rockstar to here and drop a rock on this mountain. That would push the Alpha Firefly into a pool of acid. Thus, firstly inflicting acid damage so we have a chance to kill it so it'll take, it'll take double damage from lightning more importantly we can then use a lightning attack on the spiderling we can get the, get uh, Isabel out of the way first use lightning on the spiderling to kill the spiderling chain through the firefly and kill it chain through the crab and the alpha crab and kill them so that will be four kills with uh, one electric whip so if the acid tank is up here and it's fired us on the spider, uh, or rather up here, yeah, that's safe from chaining. Just to check. Um, acid tank stops here, fires, put, fires acid onto the spider, grapple pine moves here, fires her cannon, it'll push her back there, and it, and it will kill the spider. That will be two more out of the four we need to kill the acid. And all of them will be dead. Leaving only two new ones to spawn next turn. I do not see a better outcome for this uh, turn than all enemies dead. With no damage to ourselves. So let's do that. Um, gonna sit there, you wanna sit there. You wanna throw a rock there. And now we have a chain, and unfortunately we have a dead mountain. So that's a lovely chain. Okay, a building chain not, not actually being useful there, but that's okay. It was useful last turn. And a dead spider, which makes me very happy. 
Great. We only need to kill one more with acid, and we have two more turns to do it in. Uh, the downside is Isabel's a long way away from anywhere at the moment, but uh, we can probably live with that. So that's a very, very slight downside. Not it's almost an upside. Alpha Leaper and a Scion. Oh, that's handy. Neither of them are particularly difficult to kill. Three new enemies next turn, though, so we've got to watch out. The Alpha Leaper will die in one hit. So, conveniently, uh, the turn that Grapple Fire is a long way from being able to do anything useful is also the turn where we don't have anything she really needs to do. I'm thinking... Which, which one do I want to throw acid on? Scion or the Leaper? It doesn't really matter for the sake of damage. We can kill them both without acid. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is firing acid at one of these spawns so that whatever spawns out of there is then covered in acid. And this spot's out of the way for us so we're not going to need to walk through it. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. First things first, let's 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 just get rid of this Alpha Leaper. It doesn't deserve to live. And... For a second attack, we'll kill the Siren. Okay. Um, I don't, in case there's another spider, I don't want to leave our units like one square apart, because then we'll just get two of them tied up together again. So, I'm going to sit back here and fire us up there. So next turn we can kill at least that one. Possibly another one will step in us as well. And have Isabel move forward ready to be of use. Oh, and actually let's undo that move. We could actually grapple the tank and shield it. So I got I installed a power core in the shield just for that for that very option. Fortunately, that means I shouldn't have moved the tank first. I should have used her to grapple it to move it there. Um, I can't actually use the grapple when it's already adjacent just to give it a shield. It doesn't for whatever reason doesn't work that way. She has four movement, so if she's sitting here, she can pull the tank. The tank has four movement as well. Just one, two, three. That means she can get anywhere around here and shoot things in this. She can shoot anything in this uh, file, which, or this file, which is probably sufficient. So yeah, let's give it a let's give it a shield. Why not? It may save its bacon, save our bacon next turn. At the very least, it means we can electric whip it safely um, without risking it dying. Last turn. Alpha Hornet, Alpha Firefly, and an acid covered Alpha Firefly. Nice. I like these enemies. They don't stop us moving or anything nasty like that. It's very convenient. So, doing uh, six damage if we use lightning or a rock on this Alpha Firefly, we'll kill it. Uh, we need to do four damage to the Hornet in order to kill it. And five damage to this one to kill it. So, I don't think we actually have the opportunity to kill all of them this turn. This one we certainly can because it's covered in acid. We ha don't have the ability, none of them are lined up together. So we probably can't use uh, building chain, use our electric whip with building chain on them. Or we maybe could. Let's say, for example, I park the acid tank in a pool of acid. That shouldn't do damage to it, right? It's got a shield, first of all, and secondly, I don't think acid does damage, it just neutralizes shields and causes weapons to take double damage. Because you can see, this firefly's not taking damage. I don't know if it neutralizes shields or not, but hopefully not. Um, so the acid tank would still be alive, and more importantly, out away from the buildings. 
It then fires its acid at the hornet. So both of these are covered in acid. Then Isabel grapples the firefly up to one of these two spots, so it's next to the buildings. That leaves us with Zappy Kill moves, so here, fire uses the electric whip to kill both the hornet and the alpha firefly at once. And they both take double damage, so they both die, take six, six points of damage and die from that attack. Uh, that leaves Rockstar and an Alpha Firefly. We can ignore the Alpha Firefly because it's not gonna hit it. It's not gonna attack anything, so why not? So that's that's the plan A. Plan B Rockstar can move up here if we get this bell out of the way and drop a rock on this firefly to kill it. Um hmm. Isabel could move here, or and grapple this firefly up there. That's a bad idea because then she's standing in this line of fire. Although it does what three three damage, so she would take two damage from it, oh, and two from the lightning whip. Yeah, she would be on one hit point again. I don't think that's a plan. I don't think that's a plan. We do need to kill one of them to get our bonus objective, and we can certainly do that with this Alpha Firefly, and we can do the, destroy the Hornet at the same time. Actually, come to think of it, the acid tank is quite safe, thanks to our shield, from the building chain attack. So, I can certainly use it to throw acid on the Alpha Hornet, ne and sit next to the building safely, I don't need to go sit in the acid. Yeah, there's no way we can get acid on both of these, which is what we'd need, I think, in order to kill them both. So, I, I, I guess I just give up on killing this Firefly here. That's fine, I don't need to kill it. It is not a problem. So let's throw acid on the Hornet. Let's grapple this Firefly over to us. We don't, we don't need to move out of the way, there's, there's really no point moving out of the way. Let's move out of the way of the Firefly here. Use our electric whip to kill the Hornet and one of the Fireflies. I'm sorry, Isabel, but you have lots of hit points for precisely this reason. And... Well, that's it. We do not need to do anything else. This Alpha Firefly will harmlessly attack and then retreat. We've got our bonus objective, so that's a mission success. A success, Commander! With your help, a sufficient number of Vec were inflicted with acid for study. So, we got two rep from that, pushing us up to five. That's nice, since we didn't get any rep from the previous mission. We saved all the civilians. Again, that's our, always our primary goal. Uh, keep our power grid high, save the civilians. These objectives are just bonuses. We got a bunch of XP, but everyone's max levels and nobody leveled up. It's, I wish there was more than just two levels per, per unit, but, you know. That's the way it goes. Regen secure, and now the corporate HQ is under attack. So, I'm going to end this episode here and stop for a quick tea break and then start the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you again shortly.